I'm happy to announce the very first All Dragon FFA here in this Tuesday FFA day. We got Malevolent on the Yellow Dragon, Power Drive on the Blue Dragon, Sunbar on his signature Green Dragon, Septip on the Orange Dragon, Very Suspicious So 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 on the Red Dragon, Thomas the Tank Engine on the Brown Dragon, Goliath on the Black Dragon and Mark Reis 12 on the Purple Dragon. Game is about to start. And the first thing, as always, is gonna be me looking at the map. So, we have Helheim in the middle. Whoever has balls of steel and wants to colonize this will most likely encounter the wrath of everyone else involved. Um, might be a win condition later? I don't think so. Mimir's Brunnen is nice near the middle as well. In terms of neutrals, we have Yurto, we have Dwarfs, we have... Obols and Murkalf. So every single neutral once. And that's about it. Let's take a look at the player spawns, starting with Manevolent. Manevolent has an open room and a single food. Excuse me? Does he have a single food? No, he has double food. With deer and farm. Very nice spawn. I mean, honestly, with dragon. Encountering a bad spawn would only mean that you don't spawn with a lore stone. So, nice spawn because double food and very accessible second stone as well as maybe even the third stone if he wants to steal this away from very suspicious. Very, very nice. <clears throat> so, this dragon has a red altar. Very suspicious has a lore stone as well, as well as a forest. One stone here, another stone here. Most likely we're gonna see Malevolent and red, like um, yellow and red clashing for this stone. Especially so, since if uh, if red doesn't get the stone early on, he's stuck on four tiles and that would basically mean that red is dead. So red is in trouble. Scouts this immediately though, because he knows that he's stuck. So we will most likely see some early action here if yellow decides to contest this nice juicy third stone. Next is blue, starting with a longship dock immediately. Interesting decision, I've never seen that. Wait. He doesn't have enough for a house and a woodcutter. 8 player FFA officially turns into a 7 player FFA. Okay, um, something weird has happened to this build. I mean, we have to build a house, eventually. Oh! Interesting. So, um, this is an AI. We have a lore stone on Sunvar as well, as well as triple food. One stone, another very secure stone here in the back. Very nice spawn for Sunvar here in, in this pocket. It's also really hard to attack him. It's only... Like, Sunvar is near an AI. Thus, he's kind of locked in by the map and the Jotnar. Also, double stone. Plus another iron. If Sunvar decides to go for Jar or Dragon Relic, he's in an incredible spot already. Not gonna lie. Um, I think this is the best spawn so far. Now, purple. Purple has a lore stone as well. Double food. Okay, double food here is amazing. He can just build double food, upgrade both, build a silo there, uh, upgrade the tile later to build a dragon altar. Okay, I don't know. Okay, usually with dragon, you can just clear by uh, sending pop. You don't need to convert a dragon kin. But. Yeah, that's what purple does. Also, purple needs this lore stone ASAP, this rune stone. And when looking at the main base, we can most likely see that it's a newer player. But I hope I'm wrong. So, purple in not of the best spots so far. Thomas the tank engine with, with a very nice setup here. 
early farm, very early iron mine. Lower master is already working the runestone. Honestly, doesn't care about having a wounded uh, lore master because with dragon wounded units are as efficient as non-wounded units so doesn't really mind that early farm for early food production is nice for brown and the woodcutter i think brown has the second best spawn here also very accessible second stone here in front with the draugr tomb and the sheep last but not least we have goliath Goliath with another non-house build? What is going on with no house build? Is this meta? Okay, usually you want to build a house, but you can just keep sacrificing your villagers, I guess. Okay, here's, here's the house. Mate, that's so weird. But yeah, um, lore stone as well, a forest, a double fish tile, which is not ideal. I'm not even sure if it's worth it for the thrall to work the fisherman's hut. Yeah, but whatever. Still, two accessible stones, a jogger tomb blocking him in. Um, will fight might fight with brown over this forward iron and this mimir's spawn. so i think black and brown are gonna clash and yellow and red are gonna clash and both green and yeah both green and purple are relatively safe yeah orange orange is actually sunvar on his second account I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, of course. Okay, we see another rushed iron mine. As well as another fisherman's hut. Woodcutter goes all the way back to the main. As he builds a dragon can altar. Okay, um, you don't need an altar this early on. You can just clear with pop. So I think the only dragon mains... Okay, Sanva built an altar as well. Mate, I have no idea what's going on. It would be funny if Sunwar keeps getting bullied by the AI like the Stag FFA. That would be really funny, yeah. But it's hard for the AI to bully Sunwar because they are quite a few tiles away from each other. Mate, please, please don't. Please don't convert a dragon kin. Does he even have the gold for the dragon kin? No. Mate, what is going on? Any treasure for relic? Oh right. True that. True that. Did he just clear the three Grange Draugrs with Pop? Damn. I mean, Sunwar is still in a, an extremely good position. Can easily go up to six tiles here. Okay, Wolf on... Main, which is empty. And one woodcutter against the wolf. I don't think one woodcutter will be enough here. No. What am I witnessing? <laughs> what is that? And another one. Mate. <clears throat> I love this. Okay. So. And, he's, and he keeps sacrificing villagers. Oh no! <clears throat> oh no, how much population does he have? He's on 5 population! He's on 5 population! And it's almost 801! <laughs> oh no! His eco is dead! Also, he has so many buildings, he can't even work all the buildings. He has an empty mine and an empty woodcutter. 
Mate. I feel for him. Okay, I'm I'm officially rooting for Goliath now. That that's some um, that's insanity. Please, okay. I, I thought I thought for a second he's gonna convert another scout. I, I I would have just lost it if he would have done that. Okay. Um. Yeah. Meanwhile, Brown is 27% from the realm. Like he is already on his way to build Jar. I mean, Brown will just smash Black here in the one v one. Uh, what about Sunvar though? <clears throat> yeah, he has started the Dragon Relic. <clears throat> I like it. I like it. It's a unit that doesn't consume any food. And even though it's very expensive and not that strong, in FFAs you can stack these guys a lot. And having like four Draconic Yurtons plus maybe another normal Yurton would be very nice. By the way, is Mark Reis? Scouting? Yeah, he's scouting the Yuton right now with the scout. What a madman. And he's gonna trade them, which makes sense because he only has one coast. So, purple will most likely steal away the Yuton. If I was purple, I would honestly try to befriend the dwarves. Because stone dwarves in this kind of setup are absolutely insane. Because Dragon wants a lot of stone and you can upgrade your food buildings, you can build an altar and you can upgrade your Dragon can altars. And you will need a lot of stone for that. I guess that's what Brown will... That's what Brown does in this game. Oh, careful. Don't lose your population here. Losing population with Dragon is very bad because you want to sacrifice these. Yeah, and he gets the Ruin as well. Yeah, if if Purple gets this Wolf Dam, he could build an Offering Well here. That's absolutely right. That is such a good tile. Honestly, it, as, as soon as we have the food for that, clear this Offering Well and befriend both the Jotnar and the Dwarves. I'm not sure I like I like him scouting this with one scout, because one scout will take forever to scout this. But it is what it is. Okay, we have a jar. We have a brewery. Okay, this is the bot. I was like, what is going on? Okay, but this is a bot. Power drive with the dragon relic as well, with the rush of the dragon relic. The red altar guy has upgraded the main. Very suspicious. Very suspicious, being suspicious. And he's mining the stone here. Okay, I like this because he cleared this very early because he was afraid of getting stuck. He worked the law masters here in the ancient graveyard until he has like, I don't know, 98%. So he doesn't have the Spectrals right now, he can already, always finish that if he wants to. And Red will go for Eco without Relic here. I honestly think Relic might still be value later on, but here look at this, upgraded food already. That's a lot of value for the Red Very Suspicious player. Okay. Yellow has Suter, that's why he built an altar early on. Uh, Malevolent has a Suter, but that's why he built an altar early on. Colonizes very aggressively towards the middle. And we'll just clear the spectrals here. Oh damn, really? Almost losing the chief in the process too. Did he go for relic? Okay, I think he's, he is going for relic right now. Okay, Manavalent is in a weird position because he doesn't have any upgrades with stone, he doesn't have any relic forged. Brown will have jar forged in a second. Going for a brewery as well because let's take a look at the lore. Okay, because feeling safe is still very far away. Okay, we got 
top dragon into middle, bottom dragon, bottom into middle, bottom into middle, full bottom, hybrid, and middle. Wait. Let me let me check the, the lore. Yeah, that's gonna be carpentry, right? Yeah, that's gonna be carpentry. And it's gonna be another trading dragon. Okay, purple has still not cleared this. Honestly. Okay, he's scouting green now. Just checking what green is up to. Goes back to the Yurtel with the scout. I mean, this will take forever. Dictus Hubert, what's up? What's up, what's up? I mean, just clear this, colonize this, build an offering well there. Okay, but he scouts with two scouts instead. I mean, you're basically sacrificing your eco for this. This is not ideal. But okay. First alpha tech. On to red. Honestly, red is in such a good position. Already so many upgrades. Let's take a look at the pop. And brown has successfully forged a jar. Wait, black? Black? Black is still on 7 population, by the way. I have, to, I have to check what's going on there. Okay, he's not working a law master. He is working a law master. How does he only have two lores unlocked in 801 July? Made so many, so many empty buildings. Yep, the FFA is, is early today because I have to I have to leave earlier this uh, this morning. We'll have an appointment with my with my hairdresser. Th this might be Leo. Is is this Leo? Is is this the real Leo? Anyway, moving on. We got the first people hitting the 200, Malevolent, Very Suspicious and Thomas the Tank Engine. I guess also the the guys who are the most likely to win this. With Sunvar. Sunvar very close to finishing Relic. Will not be able to, to summon the, the Giant though, because he will need 200 food for that. But with this, he got it, he will work the food now, and that will be a huge boost for the late game. Yeah, look at this, he's only working food now, he wants to summon that giant as fast as he can. Can I feast for him? No. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> that would be so funny, man. Yeah, and that's the draconic Yurton for Sanvar. You can keep working the eco now. Now that he summoned the big boy. Yeah, and I think Brown is in an exceptional spot with Jar, with an upgraded trading tile, upgraded farm. Just needs a chief to clear these. Yeah, working the Thrall on the upgraded farm makes a lot of sense. The rest are just working vanilla. Ada 1 is like the setup phase for FFA. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be... 802 aggression. Oh, did you see that? 
Red was about to move his spectrals here, yeah, and he moves his spectral here. Because now, now there's a problem. He doesn't, he doesn't want the spectrals in his own tile. But yellow will be able to just build a tower here. And now he has spectrals on his own tile. And it's gonna be a suture battle. Honestly, suture wins this. Yellow wins this. Yeah, red is buying as much time as he can. Honestly, just heal up your suitor. Red is not able to, to contest this. He will have to kill the boar. Place the spectrals there. Because he really doesn't want to int himself. Yeah, but I'm sure, I'm sure yellow will remember that. Pretty sure. Okay, red has unlocked yurts already. Yeah, that's a nice gold tile here on main. Brown and purple fighting? Is that a... No, that's not a dead chief, surely. <gasps> oh my god! And that's a dead chief! RIP! RIP Thomas the tank engine! And the one range stronger manages to snipe it. Oh, that has to hurt. That has to hurt. I'm not even sure what they were brawling there for. Like, it was su such an unnecessary brawl. Okay, I take it back. Like, that's, that's 150 coins lost. And... Even though Jar is really good for production, I think at some point Dragon Relic will outscale. Damn. Oh my god, almost another snipe by the way. It's so hard to clear this tomb, but Brown really wants this tomb. A green easily able to clear his own tomb here with the Draconic Yurton. Sunvar on, on, on an open longship dock as well as an upgraded fisherman hut. Upgraded longship dock, excuse me. I like how this tile is just empty. 8 out of 8. Alpha tech coming. I like how orange the bot is befriending the elves now. Uh, and purple keeps befriending the Jutnar. He's standing there with a dragonkin as well. I think like having one dragonkin is really bad. Except when you don't have a chief. If you don't have a chief, then I, I guess there's some merit into having a dragonkin in order to defend yourself. Well, moving on. By the way, the bot has the most the most fame right now. Bot OP confirmed. Okay, Malevolent getting scouted by Red here. Red already has an upgraded scout camp, so... We will see red and yellow clashing at some point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they will clash at some point. Show blue eco. Yeah, not looking too bad, honestly. Has a draconic Yurton, has an upgraded farm, upgraded dock. Could be worse. Could be worse, honestly. Also, blue is in a good position because he's not getting attacked right now. Um, yeah, but if if orange decides to attack blue, blue is in big trouble. Let's hope that's not okay. Okay, I jinxed it, didn't I? Um. Ah! 
Ah! Pain. Pain. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, that's a war chief. And blue is pulling all the pop. Will this be enough? Okay, one dragonkin, yes. Might be enough. Huge fight here between blue and orange. Chief getting focused, careful. Okay, killing one. Losing one villager. Killing two dragonkins already. I mean, to be fair, that's a lot of military XP. And blue successfully able to defend this. Only problem is the AI cheats. So AI will just convert again easily. But very nice repel by blue here. Very well played. Very, very well played. Okay, for some reason, Brown was able to colonize this nice juicy tile between the dwarfs and the Jotun. I have no idea why purple didn't colonize this, but what do I know? Does AI, AI cheat in multiplayer games? Yes. Look at it. It's up to it's up to four dragonkin again. Nope, it cheats in multiplayer as well. I mean, it just it just converts like this. Yeah, purple is in a terrible spot now. Black on six tiles will not get out. We'll have to fight brown. And honestly, like quite honestly, I don't think black will start any beef with brown. Because black is relatively weak. I mean, he, he he's able to catch up population wise. He's on 15 now. Can we can we appreciate how low the population count for everyone is because everyone is playing dragon? Mate, that is so cursed by the way. That is so cursed. The AI will just keep harassing. Like, blue is blue's in trouble. Okay, so we got our islands. Blue is fighting orange. Purple is fighting brown. And red is fighting yellow. Black and green are the only players who are not fighting anyone. By the way, but this is so cursed, man. And orange will keep doing this forever. Okay, but now, now blue has two giants. Yeah, if you kill the chief, if you take a look at the resources here. Orange will get wiped, by the way, 100%. Yeah, he lost the chief, lost one dragonkin. And orange will just keep pumping these ones out. Poor dragonkin already. Let's keep let's keep track of this. Also, purple is kind of mad about getting denied this this tile. How did purple skip to this? Also, brown lost chief, I think. It's gonna be so close. Oh no! Okay, he got he got to finish it. Oh my! I was about to lose my mind. Wait, purple's losing the chief here. That chief is dead. You're about to run into a tower. <laughs> what is going on? This is so dumb, man. This is so dumb. As we see a huge convert out of red. And he's gonna go on yellow. He sees yellow has only only four altars and he decides to go all in. Seven forged dragonkin plus spectrals. 
And I, I don't think Malevolent is ready for this. Okay. Brown repels purple. Colonizes like a madman. Red. I think red is just killing yellow here. Is yellow forged? Yellow is not forged. He's about to get forged. How much, how much gold does he have? He has 280. That's not a lot. That's honestly not a lot. I think Manevolent is just dead here. Manevolent might just, dead, might, might just be dead here. No towered main too. And these guys will be on the main soon. Okay, he's up to four. Another upgraded dragon can alter. He may be able to convert another one. Yes. Okay. Five. I think with five you might have a chance. But if you take a look at the lore, red already has draconic rage. And malevolent doesn't have draconic rage. Huge fight here. Oh my god. What is that? Yellow is entering. Everything is wounded. Wait, what is that? The hunters. The hunters. Wait, and yellow is able to repel? What is going on? And yellow down to nine population. <coughs> we'll just retake the tile. Okay. Red denies it, but he can't deny it forever. And red has a nice recovery. He's plus 20. Yeah, he can't he can't get this tile. Oh. Oh my god. No, no, no. Don't lose a chief. Don't lose a chief. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Oh my god, it's so close. <laughs> it's so close. If he lost the chief, he would he would be dead. He would be dead for sure. Oh my god. And and purple just says bye and taps out. Mate, what am I witnessing? The archers! The archers to- Okay, and Sunvar slaps one archer, converts him into a thrall. Gets- gets converted into a thrall again! Mate! You're your chief, you're chief, you're chief! No, you chief! Run, run, run! Oh my god! Oh my god! And- and red with the full-on aggression Onto Malevolent. Malevolent still refusing to tower main. For whatever reason. Convert some more Dragonkin. Okay, another two Dragonkin. Might be enough. I'm not sure. It's three. Three against four, though. He enters with Chief. Two against three. And, and the problem is. The red, the red dragonkin are just stronger because of uh, Draconic Rage. Because he has already unlocked the lore. Mate, what is that game, man? What is that game? Okay, event hitting. Okay, I think he's gonna lose this tile. Oh, he's, he's so close to gaining the Draconic uh, influence. He just has to sacrifice one one Thrall. And then there is Draconic units would heal. Around the Rosie with the house. Oh my god. The micro is intense. <laughs> and he gets, he gets to defend the tile. Oh my god, man. What is going on? Yeah, uh, now he now he gets it, but it's too late. If he would have gotten it like one minute before that, that would be so good. Yeah, he's gonna lose this tile to Draugr's. His chief will just oh nice nice micro by by red though. 
Can he defend this Draugr? Mate, this is mad. Okay, he, he defended the Draugr, that was super important. I mean, yellow is super crippled, it's only, it's only a matter of time before yellow drops out, but... Red is super crippled as well. Mate, that was so mad. Okay, meanwhile, Brown just chilling, accumulating coins. Blue and AI are fighting all the time. I mean, Blue will be able to kill Orange at some point. And that would mean that Blue is in a terrific spot. Yeah, Malevolent tries to convince Red that it's not a good idea to keep fighting here. Which is a good move, I like it. He needs wood though, he needs wood to build a tower here. And Red is like, hmm... I mean, I, I'd i love to kill Yellow, but how much does he have in the tank still? Because Red, Red doesn't know how much, um, how much Yellow has. And if Red decides to, to full convert again, he's basically out of resources. Yeah, Blue will be able to finish off Orange here. What about our boy Sunbar? What's going on here? He's still only on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tiles. That's not a lot. Brown was able to befriend the Yurton. Will befriend the dwarves eventually as well. Okay, unpopular opinion. There might be some merit in just killing off the dwarves and then mining the stone. I think this is actually... This is actually the best play. And I'm not even kidding. We'll have 200 stone for the rest of the game. And it's in such a secure spot that nobody will be able to contest this. What do you guys think? Am I am I tripping here, or is is this ironically the unironically the best play? Also, legendary heroes uh, Sunvar uh, Suture against non-legendary heroes Suture. Oh my God, that was close. Chief almost dying. Dragon 500 is decent. Um, the the blessings are way better. Oh, that was so close. Oh, that was so close, but he didn't get it. And another Draugr attack. Mate, these Draugrs really like to harass this forward tile. Oh, don't get baited. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, so close again. Oh, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Oh, no, and this dragon can die as well. It's such it's such a hard game for Malevolent. He's like, do you want to keep this up? And Red is like, yeah, we, I, I will. By the way, Orange converted so big again. Very casual orange full convert with no coins whatsoever. Yellow and red are still fighting. Orange retaking the tile. So blue cannot finish the job here. Blue's not able to finish off the AI as of yet. And red keeps on harassing yellow here. And yellow is in such such a bad position that he actually forgets to work the fields. Look at this. Malevolent is under so much pressure that he's not working the fields here. A free farm. Also, you kind of want to upgrade your dogs at this point. 
Yeah, and a, a huge convert out of red again. Oh, but this dragon can might just die. Yeah, work. Move back your villager, destroy the tower, stop forging the hunters, and convert. Okay, blue is on orange again. Orange doesn't give a damn. Counterattacks blue. Okay, it's seven dragonkin again. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Eight dragonkin, in fact. Okay, this might be it. This might be it, honestly. Four against eight. And he enters. Huge fight. He's still on four Dragonkin. Oh, but they Beybladed that so heavily. Yeah, and Malevolent will die to the Onslaught, which is red. Nice try, though. Nice try. Nice resistance. But... There's really nothing you can do here. Also, like, perfect, perfect blessing for red. With the heal. And almost always converting a dragonkin. But Malevolent doesn't give up. Goes down fighting. Oh my god, that's so painful. Suture killing a dragonkin, converting it into a dragonkin. The purple has officially been killed by brown. Uh, it's... I think it's the same blessing for everyone, yes. Yep, it is the same blessing for everyone. Red calls the GG. And we see a huge convert coming out of brown. Yep, brown will, brown will kill Sunbar here. Is Sunbar ready? Sunbar can have 7. Brown has at least 12, will most likely go up to 13. Okay, the clock is ticking. I mean, if, he, if Sunbar goes up to like 9, that might be enough. I don't think 7 will be enough against against um, 12 plus giant. Huge fight brewing here be between Thomas the tank engine and Sunbar. I think this might be the decider of the game. Careful, you don't want to lose pop here. Oh no. Sunbar panicking a little bit, losing a lot of pop. If he finishes this, that would be really, really nice. He isn't able to finish the altar. Will only go up to 8. Sunbar is able to go up to 8. And it's gonna be 8 Dragonkin plus 3 Draconic Gyrton against 11 Dragonkin, 1 Nightmare and a Gyrton Champion. Plus... Oh damn, and a bug occurring, and brown losing two dragonkin for nothing. And now he has to leave because Sunvar has more. Oh, that, that's heartbreaking. Huge fight here, Sunvar is still chasing. I don't know if Sunvar wins this. I think Sunvar is losing this. 
Huge fight though, huge fight. Okay, the, the three Draconic Yurton are still... Still up. Did the Kraken just kill Sunvar Stocks? Yep. Okay, but this this dog survives. The other dog is just dead. And Sunvar able to repel this attack because of a nice nice bug. Yeah, and and red gets killed by blue. I completely missed that. I mean, all the fighting with red killing yellow for two years really hurt both of them, and red. Just didn't have any eco behind that. So it's basically between brown, green, and um, brain lag, brain freeze, blue. But we have black as the dark horse. I absolutely love how black does not have any economy. How many upgrades does he have? What, are, what did he upgrade? I don't even see the upgrades, what? Did he upgrade a Dragonkin Ultra? Yes, he upgraded. The only upgrades he did were main, scout camp and Dragonkin Ultra. Mate. Um, yeah. Um, interesting situation. Okay, as far as coins are, Sunvar is in the best coin spot, but he had to stop the docks, is only now able to work the docks again. And the, the big thing is that Sunvar retained his Draconic Yuton. Like throughout all the fighting he lost all his Dragonkin but he doesn't, didn't really care about it and he retained the Yuton. The problem is that Brown has access to infinite stone. Okay, I'd love to see Brown killing the dwarves here at some point. Udabun getting cleared by blue. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, blue is in a nice position too, because if green and brown fight for a long time, blue can just scale in the back. The only problem is that blue is only on plus five coins right now, which is not that much. Okay, and we get a get a breather once again. Small breather for everyone. Yeah, but Sunvar is out of, out of stone. He's not able to upgrade Dragonkin Altars and Brown, let me tell you, Brown will upgrade all the Dragonkin Altars here. So so many upgrades already. Could even he could even pick up another stone here in the back. It's another 35 stone here in the back. Thunvar also gets stone from the dwarves. Yep. More of a reason for um, for Thomas the tank engine to actually kill the dwarves. As he launches another attack onto Sunvar. Let's see how Sunvar defends that. By the way, Riot. Riot incoming. Yeah. That was so close. Oh my god, that was so close. 
Okay, and another convert coming out of brown, 11 now. But Sunvar will be able to convert 10. And I think Sunvar is in his favorite here. Forged Nightmare as well. Oh, I think Sunvar is gonna wipe this. Three Draconic Yurton, Giant Yurton. Okay, he, lo he loses the tile though. <coughs> and Black! Black decides to attack Brown. Mate, I can't. Brown has to head back. And here's the deal. If Sunvar kills the Giants, he might be able to enslave one or two. And then go on, go on Brown with that. But he obviously can't attack the Giants with uh, Brown being around. So Brown has to leave and then he can attack the Giants. He could also just enslave a Giant which uh, attacks him, which attacks his main tile. Yeah, Sunvar is ready uh, and he's fine eco-wise as well, he can sustain this forever. Okay, huge fight here between brown and green. Giant down! And a huge win for green! A huge win for green! And now he only has to heal up. And go on brown afterwards. Okay, black doesn't attack brown anymore, which is good for brown. I mean, okay, and brown now decides to kill off the dwarves. The dwarves hurt though, the dwarves really hurt. Oh, this is this is so tense. And while all of this is going on, blue is untouched, but blue is not really scaling in the back. Even brown is scaling more. I don't know if green okay, green now starts to scout. What did what did brown get from the Mimir spawn by the way? Let me check. Oh my god, City Builder is insane. Okay, Brown got City Builder from the Mimir spawn, and he's like super ready in the lore department. Okay, Sunvar is very strong in the lore department as well. Brown is gonna finish off the dwarves now. And while all of this is going on, Blue's just gaining fame. Oh, Brown really doesn't want to, to lose this tile. And Bla they are double teaming. Black is attacking as well. Okay. Brown converted more. Brown is up to 11. I don't, I'm not sure if Green is gonna win this one. Yeah. Especially with Malice. Might be might be a close fight because some of some of the brown units are still wounded. Okay, huge fight brewing here. Giant gets focused hard. Giant down. Another giant down. Huge losses on green side. But I think that's just a win for green. Brown gets wiped. Brown is out of coins. Gets double teamed by Black. Will lose the city builder tile. Green is like, wait, that's that's Black. Black is like, oh my god, Green has so much, I have to retreat. And that's why Brown is not losing this tile. I have no idea what's going on, man. And 
Heavy losses on green because he lost he lost two Draconic and Gyrton. That might might bite him in the ass later on because I mean blue has four giant Draconic Gyrton. And now blue is going on black. Okay. I'm not sure if, if green has what it takes to finish off uh, brown because brown has nice eco behind that. I th this this game is insane. This game is absolutely insane, man. Does Brown have recruitment? No, Brown does not have recruitment. <clears throat> Brown might be in trouble. <clears throat> Brown is only on 17 pop 2. He could he could make like two more draconics like Dragonkin. But that's it. But green has to has to scout him out. Yeah, another pause out of Thomas the Tank Engine, who's about to lose another tile. If I if I was Thomas, I would tell Black to defend himself and just go back. Because I mean, you're not gonna survive this double onslaught. Mate, the meme is born. Brown would have been in such a good position were it not for this weird bug where the unit just entered the main. <laughs> Mate. Ah, <laughs> oh, this lore. This lore. Black's lore, I can't. I think Black's just dead. He's, despite having like such a big malice here, I think Black's just dead. Yeah, Black has to go back. Green has to... Has to scout... Ha has Green scouted the main? No. Okay. But Green is... Kind of staying AFK. The more time Brown gets, the better, because Brown has has plus 19 in coins right now. Yeah, now he has to go back, but I mean, he's, he will he will still be fine, like food wise. He has so much food remaining. Black will just absolutely die to to blue if blue decides to enter. I mean, even with the malice. Okay, maybe with the population, but let's face it, I mean... Very unlikely that Black's able to defend this. Micro's good. Blue not even losing a single unit. Wiping Black clean. Wait, Black has more. Black is bringing more. Black is trying. Green is on Brown's base. Huge fight here between Green. I don't know why Green entered that. Okay. Brown enters back. Suter dies. Huge fight here. Green losing so much. And that's a lot of pop again. I think if you're green, you have to wait for your true dragonkin and then re-enter. Yeah. Okay, but now, now surely that's gonna be it, yeah. Black is dead. Blue taking out orange, red and black. Already has taken out three players. By yourself. 
so sad I lose because of two bugs. What what was the second one? Can can you tell me, chat? I think Brown is able to defend this. That's way too much population. But Brown is in trouble, eco wise. Yeah, Brown is in big trouble, eco wise. And Blue decides to backstab Green. He doesn't see HP bars in fight. Okay, I see. Well, that's pretty bad. Okay. And Blue decides to save Brown and goes on green. Green has to go back. I'm not sure if that is what you want with uh, if you're if you're blue. I think if if green takes out brown, you're going to win against green. Because green green might have just lost some more units. And this, this fight is gonna be... I mean... Mm, okay, not gonna lie, I think... Blue is gonna win this one still. Yeah, Blue should still be able to win this one. But leaves instead. Ha! Huh, I don't know. I don't know, I think... If you're blue, you want to wait until Sanvar has taken out brown. Okay, Sanvar has a huge convert. Still working the docks. Might have a tr might have some trouble with the wood. Okay, brown retakes tiles. Brown has decent decent population now. But he doesn't really have military, he has only three dragonkin. That's not gonna be enough. And blue... Okay. What is that teaming? Brown is like, attack again. Hello? Teaming up against Sunbar here. Green too strong. I mean, green is stronger than brown, but blue is the strongest. I think the only one who benefits from blue attacking green is brown. Huge fight here. Huge fight. Okay, giant almost dying. Giant is dead. And blue kills green. I mean, teaming, teaming is not allowed. No, it's it's allowed to backstab. But if it's like two v one. I don't know. Temporary alliances are fine. Yeah. Okay, Sunvar is out of gas. He doesn't have any gold left. He has to save the giant. Okay, Sin giant just dies instantly. The rest is population. And blue is just killing Sunvar here easily. Sunvar is absolutely dead. He only has one scout remaining. And we will see the showdown between blue and brown here. Um, brown went on Sunvar first. Okay, not, not gonna lie, 
leaves a bad taste in my mouth, but... Um... I guess it might might have been a good play from blue. If blue thought that green might just outscale. Uh, I don't know. Still kind of feels bad. Oh damn! Suture converting a dragonkin by slapping a dragonkin. Not gonna lie. This is gonna be a close one. Let's see the um, let's see the blessings. Thank you for the follow, Chunky Kuss. Welcome, welcome, appreciate it. Okay, not gonna lie. I feel like this might be a close one. And blue just got gets danced out. Okay, blue needs another control group. Otherwise, the dancing will be forever. Another dragon can convert it by Suture. Yeah, and... I mean, what is going... This is so weird. This is really weird. Okay, and blue goes away, and brown is just outscaling this now. I think brown is winning this, honestly. Blue needs the, um, the healing blessing. If blue gets the healing blessing and goes on brown, Fast enough, I think blue might have a chance. Yeah, is Sunbar out? Sunbar is out. Sunbar just got demolished. He fought, he fought one strong dragon player three times and then blue decided to kill to finish him off afterwards. Yeah, and now Brown decides to kill the dwarves. Gets a dwarf in return for finishing it off. Wait, a dwarf can defeat a unit and capture a neutral unit and get a dwarf. Also getting placed by Brown. Yeah, now he has the city builder again. I, I honestly don't know what's going on here. Like, that was the only window for blue to finish off brown, and now... All of a sudden, blue doesn't want to finish off brown. Maybe it might be an angle to just go for middle here. Colonize two tiles towards middle, colonize middle. Or even go for a fame win with middle. Let's see. How many more tiles? Six. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, and Brown just keeps on farming the dwarves here. Yeah, pop against dragon doesn't do much. I, I agree. Okay, and blue decides to go on brown now.
Okay, brown is converting right now. Just if, like just when the blizzard is about to get hit. I think blue is still winning this, by the way. Because of the Draconic U-turn. But blue can't enter. Okay. That's weird. A more Dragonkin coming out of blue. <laughs> Very tense moment here. This this decides the game. This will decide the game. Oh! Oh my god, it's so close! <laughs> this is so painful. <laughs> what is going on? And blue decides to go with the Draconic Jotun. I would swap that out with the Dragonkin or Suter. Yeah, Brown just sends Suture over. Honestly? Yeah, the Draconic Yuton is winning this hard. And and Blue just enters, immediately gets wiped. The Draconic Yuton is not in the fight! What is Blue doing? Such a bad fight for Blue. Will he, st will he still be able to win this? He might, it's so close, it's so such a close fight. Okay, Blue is still able to win this, despite not having a Draconic Yurton in the fight. He didn't even lose a Draconic Yurton. Okay, Blue can just pull back the Draconic Yurton now. Oh my god, such a such a close fight. Brown is converting again. Or do, does Brown even have... have coins to convert? Wow, bra bra Brown is wiped! Oh my god, that was such a close fight. Oh my god. I can't, I can't believe that was so close. With the malice too. Like almost almost maximum malice here. Maximum supply malice. More Dragonkin getting converted by, by Brown. But the Yurton. The Yurton are, are so strong. The spin is just so strong. Neutral almost dying. Losing another tile. Resource wise he's fine but I mean... Blue is fine as well. Absolutely insane Entryman. Absolutely insane Enter. More Dragon King converted. Four Dragon King converted. Reinforcements coming out of blue though. I'm telling you guys, the Draconic Yuton, they are so strong in late game. Yeah, Brown losing another tile. He's effectively on three tiles right now. This tile doesn't count. And Blue just enters main. This might be the final fight. Final fight of this FFA. Absolutely insane how all of the Yurton survived this. Okay, final fight coming up. Will Brown be able to defend this? Or w will he be able to defend this even? I don't know. Draconic Nightmare even getting converted. Will bait with population in the back to get a better enter. All Everything is getting baited and Blue just leaves. Blue just plays the long game, enters another tile. Blue is very patient with this. Huge fight now! Pull back the chief. Oh, weird clicks, lo losing the chief. Almost losing... Okay, Draconic Yurton is down. But the spins are so strong, the spins are so strong. Both Yurton still there. One Yurton dying as well. Everything is wiped. Blue just has to go on main and Indy wins. If he goes on main he wins. But he's not going on main. Oh my god he's not going on main. And and Brown is able to get more population because of this. I I don't know what's going on. If, if Blue just moves on main he wins.
That is so weird, man. More population coming out of brown. Enters with Suture. Oh my god, and he gets a convert! He gets another Dragonkin convert! This was literally the only thing that could have saved him there. I don't I don't know why I don't know why blue is not killing brown here. And he's moving back? That's so weird, man. And black uh, brown is able to, to recover from this. That's another dragonkin dead, maybe. Yeah, that's another dragonkin dead. And the chief might survive this because chief is way too fast and chief survives this. Okay, honestly, I want brown to win this. I want, I want brown to win this so badly now. And now he gets on main. I think it's, it's still gonna be enough because... Brown has not worked any coins whatsoever. He has to work the coins now, but Brown, I think Brown gave up. No, no, no. Blue knows that if he enters main, he wins. Okay, gets another... It's another Dragonkin here. Converts another Dragonkin! Okay. Brown is not dead here. Brown can do it. I'm cheering for Brown. I'm cheering for Brown here. Kill the Draconic Yuton. Recover from this. Somehow. You can do it. Ah, uh, he's losing another Dragonkin. But the Yuton is dead here. The Draconic Yuton is dead here. Yeah. And Brown successfully repels the attack. Rebellion. Very close to getting a rebellion here. Yeah, and Brown recovers. Like, not gonna lie, that's so deserved. That is so deserved. I'm not finishing him off here. And honestly, without the Yurton, okay, he will get another Yurton. Without the Yurton, I I feel like Brown is in a good position. He just has to recover now. And that's like the hardest part about it. But he has Jar. He has Jar. He might have recruitment. Let's check if he has recruitment. I hope he has recruitment. Ah, Brown doesn't have recruitment. Man, if if Brown had recruitment, the game would be. Uh, so close. Yeah, he wants the Mimir spawned again. Wait, what is that? Why are there wild thralls there? What? Okay, uh, picks up a thrall for free. Thanks. Jar plus city builder incoming. We'll rebuild his food. Will get his food. Also, if if Brown can kill the dwarves here, he's still able to get more get more stone. And Blue just converts a draconic Yurton. Doesn't go for middle. Doesn't go for fame win. Doesn't go for killing Brown. <laughs> just wild trolls, man. What is going on? Yeah, and, lo and look at the look at the coins production. He's only working three, and he's plus fifteen. Eventually, I mean, eventually he will overtake Blue here. Plus, population-wise, he's on thirteen, so it's not too hard. And he got the city builder now. He got the Mimas one back. The city builder. Blue is just. Idling with military. Uh 
I really hope Brown is gonna win this. I'm not sure because the Draconic Yurton are really strong. But I really hope Brown is gonna win this. <sighs> that would be so deserved. That would be so deserved. I mean, blue, blue is... What is blue even doing? I don't get it. Yeah, and brown officially has recovered now. Will upgrade his Dragonkin Ultras again. Has plus 29 in coins. Only... Seven villagers down. Bra Brown will recover from this. And the, the longer blue waits, the better it is, it is gonna be for Brown. What a game. What an absolutely bonker of a game. I like this house tile. Three houses and one tile. Just in case he loses another tile. Yeah, and he's gonna... Farm the dwarfs here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, blue's just AFK. Blue just gave up. Feast even coming out of brown. Feast coming out of both of them at the same time, interestingly enough. Yeah, and he is. And brown is gonna enslave the dwarfs. One dwarf enslaved, a nice ranged dwarf enslavement. I don't even know why he keeps like clearing this. He has both of them have, have 3000 military XP. Brown is clearing the dwarves because he wants to enslave the dwarves. That I can understand. Huge convert coming out of blue. Draconic Nightmare as well. Six. Ah, I mean... Not gonna lie. That's an easy defend. Easy defend for, for Brown. Brown has ranged joggers too. Dwarf with operatives and ranged freelancer, freelance dwarves. Okay, where is Blue going? He wants to move through the Fog of War? <clears throat> okay. I really hope Brown is, is repelling this. Mate, that would be justice. Okay, they need, they need the Magni's influence though. Brown needs Magni's influence. Yeah. Blue has it already. Careful with the Rebellion. That was really close with the Rebellion. Yeah, he has to get to Magni's influence. Yep, attacking in winter because both have fur, it doesn't really matter. Okay, not gonna lie. Brown needs more. Yeah, and Brown is bringing more. Three more, to be exact. And green leaves. Look at these! The ranged dwarves, man! The ranged dwarves! <laughs> I can't! I can't! This is so dumb. Okay, but green... But, but blue forced Brown to convert 10. But still, like, Brown's eco... Brown's eco is just better.
Brown's ego is just better. Blue needs more. Okay, Blue is bringing one more for reinforcements. Now it's 10 against 10 plus Giant. I mean, yeah, Blue is going to win this. If they fight, Blue is going to win this. It's only a malice of 10%. Yeah, I think if Brown is able to just focus down the Draconic U-turn, it might be a close fight. A Nightmare going for Brown. Blue scared. Rightfully so. Oh, and he takes the fight. Huge spins here for Blue. I think, oh no, it doesn't look great for Brown. No! Oh my god, the Draconic Yurton makes the difference. Wait! No! It's gonna be so close! It lagged out? What? What? What is that fight? And the dwarves are the only remaining units and Brown is able to repel the attack? But he is very low on pop. The dwarf diff! The dwarf diff! Look at these! Oh my god, man. The ranged dwarf diff. And Brown is able to repel the attack. And Brown has more. Brown has more coins. Brown has more food. Brown has a better economy. Blue does not have a draconic U-turn. And slowly but surely, Brown is gonna crawl out of the depths of hell and will be able to outscale blue. The true heroes. Freelance Dwarf 1 and Freelance Dwarf 2. Dwarfs better than Draconic Uton confirmed. Oh my god, man. Upgraded healers hut? Where? Recruitment wins here, yes. Recruitment wins here for sure. He's slowly getting into recruitment here. I think he has to work the lore. Just assign two lore masters, get recruitment, win game. Blue doesn't even have a trading post, by the way. Blue's working an empty market. Two more scouts? Three more scouts? Yeah, I think, I think that's gonna be it. I think this is gonna be it. The eco difference is just too high. The freelanced wars. Oh, that's one very confused Draugr, by the way. Did the game just stop? I think the game stopped. Once again. Oh! And it continues. Is, is Brown trying to fame win right now? Wait. Okay, four more zones. Brown, Brown might be able to fame win here. More more upgraded dragon can alters. Oh my god, I, I see the setup. Colonize this Draugr tomb. Colonize this tile. 
and then colonize one tile with lower and middle. And that's your that's your GG. This is your this is your fame win. And that's that's what what Brown is aiming for right now. Brown so Brown will be able to take take this Draugr tomb. He will take this tile. I think he needs 700 780 food. How much is it? Um, 500. I think he needs a, around 800 food. Just take the tomb, take another random tile, take the um, the Vec Vizier, and then take middle. And that's gonna be GG. I think he sees it. I think Brown sees sees the angle. Still booking coins in case Blue Blue wants to convert. I like I like it. I like it a lot. Absolute insanity. Yeah, he's he's saving up the food. He will take this tile first, and then he's gonna grab the Draugr tomb afterwards. Yep, he's he's converting first because he wants um, he wants to get middle without Blue seeing it. And Blue's just Blue's just being a paid actor. <laughs> oh my god! Yes, yes. There's no stopping it now. He can take this. In fact, it was 750 food instead. Takes the Vegas here and just needs the middle. He sees the same angle as me. Just needs this middle tile. Blue is not converting anything. And that is gonna be GG and Thomas the tank engine takes it down in an absolutely insane FFA with the fame win. Holy shit. Holy.